Watch as this Trump supporter defends his reasoning for another civil war. A recent poll said 47% of Americans think that there is going to be a civil war in this country. Do you agree with that? It could happen with the, the turning point in this country and the way things are going and how bad it's gotten. I think the people are tired. I think they're fed up. And, uh, with what specifically? I want to ask this question because if you look at the numbers, we have historically low unemployment. Inflation is coming down. The Fed is going to most likely be lowering interest rates. Um, people are getting back to work and cities are opening up again. In general, I just want to know what the what the the doom stuff is like what what is the bad stuff unfortunately trump supporters have a habit of reacting very negatively to facts i mean we got crime running rapid in in the, in the inner cities in all of our democratic cities we got you know like i said gas prices record high yeah of course they're coming down now inflation's coming down now because we're getting close to the election but the past three years it's been it's been a to say the least and do you do you blame the president for that 100 percent i blame his whole i blame his whole this whole, uh, you know, everything for that. All, all the Democrats for that. So the Democrats, you know, so it was not like that. We were, everyone was prospering. People were making money. Well, we were, we, we had a pandemic and people were out of work. It was a disaster. The economy. Yeah, the pandemic. Of course, you know, of course, it happens during Trump's election. You know, no coincidence there. It just seems like Trump supporters are looking for any reason to go to war with anyone that they hate. Forty-seven percent of people said in a recent poll that they're, they're fearful of civil war in this country. Do you feel like we're close to that? I mean, yes. <laughs> yeah. In what way? I mean, we can't have a land war like we had in the 1860s, probably, right? You know, you legal immigrants, it's going to happen no matter what. I mean, someone at this rally has to acknowledge that another civil war would be a terrible idea. 47% of Americans in a recent poll said that they think there could be civil war in this country. Do you see that? I'm, a, I'm in the Army. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want civil war. Are you active duty? I'm National Guard, okay. but I'm going to deployment this November uh, of this year. Um, and I don't want civil war. Uh, people is talking about war and things like that. People who don't know nothing about it. Uh, this is something that should never happen. I hope it never happened, you know, yeah. because civil war or any type of war is a horrible thing. A lot of people are going to die. A lot of people are going to suffer. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't even want to think about this, you know, this type of thing because civil war is a, is a big word. It's a big word. It's better not, not even use it. But people is using it like for nothing. But I'm telling you, it's people who don't know nothing about war, about, about what it is, you know, suffering, this type of thing. As you can see, Trump supporters are all talking about a second civil war. They're all worked up. They're upset. Nobody quite understands why they're upset. I mean, it feels like they just blame Joe Biden for no matter what happened. I mean, the fact that we saw in that earlier clip that there's been a pandemic and that was what caused the economy to come down. And yet they blame Joe Biden. They, they blame the left. That other guy was saying that, oh, you know, even the pandemic happened during Trump's presidency. Uh, was it a coincidence? Meaning like, oh, somebody created a pandemic during Trump's term to get rid of him because people want a bad economy. It doesn't even make sense. And yet they've Blame the left for everything. The other guy said, as long as there's illegal immigrants, there's going to be this civil war. Uh, again, not thinking of the fact that, first of all, a lot of people that come to this country, come to this country and make it a better place. The fact is, illegal immigrants commit fewer crimes per capita than American citizens. America, a lot of uh, uh, immigrants that come to this country take the jobs that a lot of uh, Americans don't want, like picking the fruit that you eat and, 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 and it, it actually helps the economy. So a lot of these people that come here are looking for a better life. No one's in a great situation in another country and thinks, oh, I'm going to go to a country that doesn't want me and try to just take my turn and see what happens. By the way, a lot of people that are coming to the border are uh, seeking political asylum. And by the way, the Biden administration got with the Democrats and the Republicans in Congress and they came up with a bill that was going to uh, actually deal with some of the uh, issues at the border, and yet Donald Trump told them to tank it because he wanted to run on immigration. So that just shows you how much the writer, I should say MAGA, cares about dealing with immigration. The truth is these people that complain about the left causing this and causing that should just, all they got to do is look at the current Congress, which is uh, a majority re uh, Republican, and the Republican Congress has been the most useless Congress in recent history. They're good at complaining, they're good at saying taxes are too high and, uh, you know, we want uh, to have uh, more secure borders. And
and we want to be involved with less wars and all that other stuff. And yet they don't have real solutions. Donald Trump says, I will have the Ukraine-Russia war handled in a day. Uh, he says that I'm going to deport 11 million undocumented people. How is that going to look? Nobody asks that question. These people just go along with it thinking that's going to be the answer to their problems. And it's not. He famously said he's going to build a, a wall at the border. He did not do that. He famously put the tariffs on China and it was supposed to help America. It didn't help America. All that happened was the prices went up. You think China just absorbs those costs? No. The the, the products that come to America, the Americans uh, absorb those costs and we end up paying more. By the way, if these guys that are complaining right here want to actually look at it, under Biden, the infrastructure bill was passed. No one else was able to do that. Trump tried to do, he was having infrastructure week all the time, didn't pass it. What's that going to do? It's going to bring more jobs back to America, going to help the economy. Minimum wage is going up. He's done a lot for these people, and they're so dumb that they don't realize it. And then it leads to this conversation, this political violence talk, which, by the way, was actually piggybacked on by the head of the Heritage Foundation. This guy was doing an interview just this past week, and he said that the second American Revolution is happening, and it will be bloodless unless the left decides to make it bloody. Let me speak about the radical left. You and I have both been parts of faculties and faculty senates and understand that the left has taken over our institutions. The reason that they are apoplectic right now, the reason that so many anchors on MSNBC, for example, are losing their minds daily is because our side is winning. And so I come full circle in this response and just want to encourage you with some substance that we are in the process of the second American revolution, which will remain bloodless if the left allows it to be. Right on. Thank you, brother. He basically was threatening the left, saying, look, just lay down and shut up and let us take over Project 2025. I want you to Google that. I want you to research that. They're going to implement Project 2025 give Trump even more power, and they're going to start taking away your rights left and right. I'm telling you. They already took away a woman's right to uh, 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 choose to have an abortion if she wants to. They've already, uh, uh, Clarence Thomas, in that decision for no reason, threw in that they're going to go after uh, gay marriage. They're going to go after the LGBTQ community. They'll be going after any religious minorities. They're going to be going after anybody who's immigrant or looks immigrant. How are they going to deport 11 million people? You know what that means? They're going to have to have people, uh, the National Guard. You saw that guy who's in the National Guard who was like, I don't want a civil war because he knows what a civil war is. But he's going to have to be sitting there on street corners asking people that are brown to pull over and show their uh, birth certificates or, or get uh, uh, deported. It's really a bad, bad situation. I'm originally from Iran. I knew Iran before the Islamic uh, Revolution. And it wasn't perfect. It had problems. But once it became this totalitarian state led by religion, we ended up with the darkest days. And Iran ended up having an influence, negative influence, on a lot of countries around it. And, uh, and we see where they are now. And similarly, America could become the Christian uh, Republic of America run by the Heritage Foundation, who wants you to uh, uh, have less rights, who wants women to stay in the kitchen. Women's rights are going to go down. And any kind of rights of anybody you have, anything that's about diversity is out the door. They attack all of these things, claiming that those are the things that are the reason why these white men are no longer in power. The truth is, it's a diverse country. The truth is, it's an international world that we live in. For people who say, oh, there's this, uh, you know, leftist cabal of bureaucrats and, 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 and internationalists who are taking away our job. That's not, what, that's not what's happening. What's happening is the world is becoming uh, more uh, uh, technologically advanced. And rather than uh, trying to hold on to the past and fossil fuels and the old jobs, we need to be making progress, which is what Biden is trying to do with a lot of the stuff that he's, that he's pushing. Even things like the environment, the people like the Heritage Foundation, they wanna uh, get rid of restrictions on uh, anything that will stop them from making money. These are a lot of billionaires who wanna keep making money through fossil fuels and keep polluting the air. They don't care about the future. They're just trying to make more money. And they're convincing all these bozos who are going to the MAGA rallies that somehow they care about the MAGA bozos. And that's just not the case. So if you have a relative 
that brings these things up to you. Show them Project 2025. Let them know their rights are going to be taken away. Let them know that there doesn't need to be a civil war. That's crazy. By the way, if Trump were to lose and get his followers to go attack again somewhere, ultimately what would happen is then his followers, the same ones who ended up in prison last time because they stormed the Capitol on January 6th, they will end up in an armed combat with the U.S. military. And I'm sorry to say the U.S. military is going to win that armed combat. But it's going to be a horrible day for America. Donald Trump has done nothing but divide Americans and make us uh, think that we should have a civil war. We don't need a civil war. All you got to do is look at the stuff that's going on. That one guy, again, who kept saying, oh, inflation and the gas prices, of course, they're coming out. It's election year. No, you bozo. We're coming out of a pandemic. We had high inflation. We're doing much better than most countries are around the world coming out of that pandemic. Our uh, inflation is in a lot better shape than the rest of the world. So rather than seeing that, they just focus on, oh, the leftists and LGBTQ and uh, people of color are, uh, are, are ruining America. Not at all. They're making America great. So just take out the again and think about great in the future. I'm comedian Maz Jobrani. I hope you vote. I hope you don't vote for Donald Trump. I hope you get your relatives to vote for uh, whoever's running for the, for, the, for, for the Democrats. We don't know at this point. Is it Biden? Is it going to be Kamala? We don't know. That's up in the air. That's a whole other subject we can talk about in another video. But please, for, for the sake of democracy, vote blue. I have a comedy special on YouTube. It's called The Birds and the Bees. Please watch it. If you like it, tell your friends. Pass it around. If you don't like it, keep it to yourselves. Bye-bye.